Hey everyone, this is Josh with Ska. In this video, I'm gonna dive a bit deeper into some of the more advanced configurations and advanced features of the new Soundbox speakers, which are powered by Ska wireless technology. You can use the new Soundbox speakers with any Ska or Ska Pro transmitter. So I'm using a Diz transmitter here for my iPhone. So I'll just pop this into my iPhone, play some music, and then I'll turn on each of my speakers. And then I'll switch the mode from solo to join mode for each speaker. And now I have music playing from all three of these speakers coming from my iPhone. If for some reason one of the speakers doesn't immediately bond to your transmitter, you can simply double click the bond button and it'll automatically bond to the next available source. Once they're all playing the right audio, I can hold down the Ska Bond button until it turns green. This memorizes my Diz source to each of my speakers' green lists. This whole setup is called One Ska Cell. One Ska Cell can send audio to up to four devices at once with 36 milliseconds of latency. So for my current setup, I actually have room for one more speaker or a pair of headphones. I can even use the Ska Command app to individually set the volume, format, left, right, or mono, and rename each speaker. Soundbox also has their own app to control these things as well. You can check that out on the Soundbox website and on their YouTube channel. Now, Ska's normal 36 millisecond operation is already lightning fast, and it works fantastic for music streaming, parties, and even for social media, watching TV, movies, and playing games where tight sync between video and audio is needed. So why would you need anything faster? The answer is live performance. When you're doing that face-melting, DJ-scratching performance, or playing an instrument or singing through these speakers, Ska Pro's ultra-fast 19 milliseconds will take you to that next level. The really great news is that your Soundbox speakers are already Ska Pro compatible. The moment you feed it signal with a Ska Pro transmitter, it'll automatically kick into Ska Pro operational mode. A Ska Pro cell can send audio to up to two devices at once with only 19 milliseconds of latency. For example, if I was doing an electronic music performance or DJing, I could hook up my Akiko Pro transmitter to be fed signal from an audio interface or a DJ mixer. Here I'm playing an electronic music performance from Logic Pro on my iMac, but I'm using an iPad to control the performance in real time, so low latency is key. I'll take the left and right outputs of my audio interface and connect them to my Akiko Pro. Then I can just bond one of the Soundbox speakers to Akiko Pro for mono output or two Soundbox speakers for stereo output. If you're DJing, you can simplify the process even further by eliminating the need for a DJ mixer altogether. Here I'm using the Serato DJ software on my MacBook. I'll just plug in an Ursula USB transmitter and now I can send audio to up to four devices. I'll bond three Soundbox speakers for the mains and then bond a pair of Helix headphones so I can monitor my playback. If you're DJing for an event or a wedding, you already know how much of a pain it is to set up a PA system and run power and speaker cables. Then you have to worry about trip hazards, so you spend extra time taping down cables. It's ugly, it's time consuming, and gaffer's tape is expensive. This eliminates all of that hassle. When using Ska for DJing or live performance, you wanna make sure that your audio signal is uninterrupted. When you double click the bond button, this activates amber mode, which just looks for and bonds with any ska source that's not already a favorite. In amber mode, if the source even momentarily goes away for any reason, the speaker will automatically switch over to the next ska source it finds, which is not what you want for a party or a gig. The better thing to do here is after bonding your speakers with your transmitter, hold down the bond button for three seconds, and this will green list the transmitter which will memorize your favorites list and lock in that transmitter. In this green mode, you won't have any mishaps with audio switching to someone else's source at the gig. Also, SCA devices automatically convert amber mode to green mode after 30 minutes of use. This is a safety feature, so even if you forget to add a speaker to your favorites list, you're most likely still okay. 
You can also have two or more cells operating at the same party or gig. For example, maybe a DJ is transmitting audio to two speakers for the music, but then a third speaker is bonded to a ska mic, for karaoke, for example. Maybe you need a five speaker setup. You can do this by creating a cell with up to five speakers playing from Bluetooth. Soundbox calls this multi-speaker function team up. Under the hood, this is Ska's Nadia Advanced Network Bluetooth functionality, which enables you to send Bluetooth audio from your phone to a single hub speaker, and from there, the Ska network moves over to four additional satellite speakers for five total speakers in a Nadia cell. Simply turn on Bluetooth and connect to a Soundbox speaker using host mode. This will make that speaker a hub. You can then check the team ID on the back to connect to the correct device but it helps to take some masking tape and mark one of the speakers as the hub and the others as satellites. Then with your hub up and running, you just put the other speakers on join mode and they'll connect to the Nadia cell. If you have any issues getting a speaker to connect, try double clicking the bond button to search for the hub or try clicking six times to reset the favorites list and then it should automatically bond to the hub. Now you can place the speakers anywhere you want. Your phone is feeding audio to the hub, and the hub is feeding audio to up to four additional satellite speakers. Each Soundbox speaker can be set up to play the left channel, the right channel, or mono, which is both channels summed together. To set this up, temporarily change each speaker to join mode and bond to a SCA transmitter and open the SCA command app to set the format of each speaker. If you're using speakers as part of a live performance, you might want to run two speakers in left and right as a pair. But if you're DJing, even in a large room, or playing music for a party in your house, and the speakers are going to be placed all around the room or all around your house, put them all in mono. If you switch from a ska cell setup over to a Nadia cell setup, or even if you bond speakers to a new transmitter, each speaker will remember what format it was set to. So if you own multiple Soundbox speakers, especially if you use these professionally or for gigging, you'll really benefit from marking each speaker with masking tape or a labeler, hub or satellite, left, right, or mono. This keeps you from having to go back to the Ska Command app and check which one is which. You can also click the bond button six times to do a factory reset. This clears the green list and also sets the format of the speaker back to mono. Avoid doing this if you want to keep your setup for later or for the next gig. But if mono is what you want, that's one way to switch the speakers back without using the app. The Ska Bond button on the Pro Panel is powerful, so I recommend you download the Ska Receiver User's Guide from ska.com forward slash TLC. It's a great reference which will unlock the Bond button's amazing features for you. So those are some advanced functions and configurations for the new Soundbox speakers. With Ska and Ska Pro, these can be used for personal or professional use. For your home and small venues, and with Nadia and multi-speaker setups, these are perfect for larger venues as well. I'll leave links in the video description below where you can check out the free Ska Command app as well as the Soundbox app. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more Ska wireless audio tech. Thanks for the support, and thanks for watching.